Hello friends, I am Pastor Joe. Today is Tuesday and I have your word for the day. What does your voice sound like? Now I've been told by some that I have a good singing voice. People who know me best urge me never to sing in public. Back in high school, I would practice singing country music by cupping my hand over my ear and singing into my hand like this. La, 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 except I'd sing a song. When I do that, I can actually hear my voice the same way other people can. You try it. Just cup your hand over your mouth and talk into it. Neat, huh? I think that too often as followers of Jesus, we direct our voice to others as opposed to directing our voices to God. David writes in Psalm 5, O Lord, hear me as I pray. Pay attention to my groaning. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I pray to no one but you. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my request to you and wait expectantly. So let me ask you, who has the first priority over hearing your voice each day? Is it your children? Is it your spouse? Is it your coworker? Uh, is it your pet? David made sure that he set aside every single day the first part of the day to speak to God. He turned his entire attention to the King of Kings and spoke to him. He brought his requests, he brought his worship, and he waited expectantly for God to do something with those requests throughout the day. So newsflash, your kids may not want to hear from you first thing in the morning. Your spouse may not want to hear from you first thing in the morning. Your Facebook friends may not want to hear your thoughts first thing in the morning, but God does. He loves you and he wants you to know that today you can turn to him and you can talk to him. He wants to hear your voice. He cares about your fears, your worries, your anxious thoughts. And as you pour your heart out to God each day, you will discover that he will replace your concerns with a piece of Jesus Christ that surpasses all understanding. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your anxiety upon him because he cares for you. I want, you to, I want to invite you to do something. I want to invite you to turn off Facebook, get away from your children, even if that means propping up your feet against the bathroom door for privacy. Grab your Bible, open it up, and pour your heart out to God. Let Him hear your voice. Remind God what your voice sounds like as if you needed to remind Him. And allow His peace to flood your heart and mind. Do that right now. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it. Then later on today, like it, leave a comment, or share it on social media. God bless.